a sphere s1 of radius r1 encloses a net charge q q1 if there is another concentric sphere s2 of radius r2 where r2 is greater than r1 if there is a charge minus q2 in the space between s1 and s2 find the ratio of the electric flux through s1 and s2 so this is our question so now we need to find the ratio of electric flux through s1 and s2 so if you mark the electric flux through s1 as phi1 and the flux through s2 as phi2 then we can we need to calculate phi1 by phi2 so this is our question and according to Gauss's law we know that flux through the first sphere s1 will be equal to the total charge enclosed within the first sphere so the first sphere is having a radius r1 and the total charge enclosed within it is only q1 so we can write down q1 divided by epsilon naught and now we will calculate the flux through s2 s2 will be phi2 will be equal to now look at the total charge so you can see that s2 is the largest sphere which is having a radius r2 inside s2 we have minus q2 over here and plus q1 so the total charge will be q1 minus q2 will come because the sign of q2 is negative so we are adding the total charge then divided by epsilon naught so now we can calculate the ratio so here phi1 by phi2 will be equal to phi1 is q1 by epsilon naught then q phi2 will be q1 minus q2 by epsilon naught so q1 minus q2 divided by epsilon naught so if you take this to the numerator so you will be getting q1 divided by q1 minus q2 so this is phi1 by phi2 the ratio of the electric flux between s1 and s2 surfaces so this is our answer q1 divided by q1 minus q2 that is phi1 by phi2 is q1 minus q1 divided by q1 minus q2